I just pulled out of the uh, driveway, uh, driving through the neighborhood. I'm going to head down to Pensacola Beach and uh, launch out in the Gulf of Mexico today. A uh, buddy of mine texted and said, hey, you want to go fishing? I'm going to head offshore. And uh, I was like, yeah, I'll tag along. What the heck? Why not? Um, there have been reports of, you know, king mackerel, Spanish mackerel. Um, not sure, but I think I read somewhere that somebody caught a blue a black fin tuna the other day and all that stuff. So might be some pelagic starting to move in as the uh, weather gets cooler and the water gets cooler. Um, but we're gonna go give it a whirl. So hopefully here in a little bit I'll have uh, a report for you. We'll see. Jack, what are we going after today? We're gonna to go after some tunas, some sailfishes, some tarpons, some Spanish mackerel. Anything out, anything out there is not safe. No, but what are we really gonna catch? All of the above. Probably just Spanish mackerel. Probably just gonna go out there and waste some dead bait. I don't know. I already saw like one bait pot out there being yeah. chased around and smashed. So I'm who excited. knows? All right, we got the kayaks dragged down here from all the way up there, and as you can, you can hear the the waves, but look out behind us. <sighs> Absolutely gorgeous out there today. Jack is still trying to catch his breath. Long drag. <laughs> Long drag. But, got some uh, late summer tourists out here still. Look how flat and blue that water is. We're gonna be right out there about where the color changes. Uh, hopefully we'll pick up something good. So we get set up out here on this bait pod and there, it was just kind of exploding everywhere. We start throwing the sabiki in and start catching these uh, these live baits here that we're going to troll with. Uh, from what I could tell, they looked like they were shad or maybe uh, sardines or something like that. I couldn't really get an identification on them. But they were big and they were alive and that's what we were going to go throw. We'd been trolling for about an hour, hour and a half, and uh, we weren't really getting any hits. We had a couple knockdowns. Jack lost a bait or two, but nothing was really sticking, and we'd gone quite a while without a hit. So we decided to reel the lines in, and we put like a half ounce egg weight on, on in front of the uh, the king rig, put a live bait back on, sent it back down. And probably 10 minutes after I changed my setup, and we were trolling in deeper water, I got this hook up here. And it ended up being a pretty nice kingfish. Um, if you keep watching, you'll see probably about 10 pounds. But, you know, it's good enough. It's going to go in the smoker and make some dip out of it and a couple fillets.
about another half an hour goes by, and I'm trolling another uh, frozen cigar minnow down at a, a deeper depth again. Uh, by this time, my front camera had died. Um, earlier, when I caught the king, my back camera had died, so I did some some uh, battery swaps and uh, all that, and this was the only view I could really come up with. But this was a pretty nice Spanish mackerel. I do have uh, fish right now. The Spanish back is in the regular fridge. The king is out with some uh, rub on it. I'm going to get ready to probably smoke that tomorrow morning and make some good dip out of one fillet and probably keep some other fillets all smoked up and throw them in the freezer for dinner later on. So, but tonight, Spanish mackerel tacos. And this is what, this is what we ended, I ended up with was one king and one Spanish mac and a uh, Jack Ma. We caught another Spanish mac and uh, all three of them were invited back to the house. So I hope you like the video and tight lines, everybody.